So can't get enough of van tours, right? I got a special treat for you today. This is a vanigan, like one of the originals. Wait till you see the inside and get the story. The, the gentleman, Ryan, is actually on Peter's team from Rover Vans. So he's actually cutting out of work a little bit to um, show us his van. Let's bring him into the fold. So there he is. Yeah, he's uh, agreed to do this. So thank you, Ryan, for, um, for joining us today. So people are going to be super interested in this van again. I, it just looks so cool. So I'm a huge Volkswagen guy. And uh, I knew that when I wanted to build out a van, I knew that it had to be a VW. And there's no Volkswagen full-sized vans. Pretty much I was stuck with uh, either a Vanagon or a Eurovan, um, which is like the newer body style that they only made up until 2004. The Eurovan doesn't really have the soul uh, that the Vanagon does. It doesn't have as much of a cult following yeah. as the Vanagon or so like the cool. old uh, Westfalia buses do. Yeah. I'm big into that. I love the, I love the culture around the Volkswagens. Um, so give us a tour here in a minute. Mm. But uh, what year is this then? This is a 1986 Volkswagen Vanagon. Yeah. Holy... Maybe a couple of technical things. So gasoline? Yeah. And horsepower? Uh, it's 165 horsepower. It's a, uh, the engine in it is a 2002 Subaru EJ25 four-cylinder. So... Very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit more powerful than the original Volkswagen yeah. engine was, and a lot more reliable than the original Volkswagen engine was. Yeah, so, well, let's tour the outside. The first thing that's right behind you, I'm super interested in, is the axe and shovel. So maybe let's start there. Is it functional or is it fashion? Uh, kind of both. It's kind of scene points, kind of. I have gotten stuck in situations where I have had to use the shovel. Yeah. Uh, I was witnessed by the rust spot. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I haven't had to use the axe yet. So the one thing I'm noticing, Ryan, is um, is this is electric and, and where your water goes in? Is yep, right? yep. Okay. So I love the simple <coughs> labeling, oh, icons versus words you can't read. Yeah. They've all been mushed out. What color is this? It's really a nice color. So it's a color, it's called uh, bronze beige metallic Ooh. is what the it's name of this really, color is. Really handsome. So. And this is a high top, I think you mentioned. Sure is, yeah. Um, versus <coughs> a pop top, and that's mm -hmm. a pretty big deal, D different? Uh, yeah, I swapped the high top onto this van. Um, originally it was a pop top Westphalia van. When I was in California, after I'd been living in it in Denver, um, I thought that I was going to go back to living in the van full time. And when I had, when I was living in it with the pop top, it just quite wasn't enough space for me. Just being able to stand up all the time is huge, huge right? In, in a small space. And then how tall is it kind of at this? Uh, so with the max fan open, it's nine and a half feet tall. So Which is the same it's, the, as my van. it's the same height as a full size high roof uh, Promaster or Sprinter. The window slide open, which is great. Yep. A bug screen is super bug cool. Bug screen, super oh, nice. This is really nice up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Those uh, those are really nice uh, if you're sleeping upstairs because you can you can sleep upstairs in this also or downstairs. Uh, so having that cross breeze up it's in the high so top nice. is is really nice. And I noticed you've had some um, some uh, lighting here. So this yep. is kind of cool here for if you're on this side of the rig. Yep. And then the, uh, the tell me about this big barn. One of the nights that I was sleeping in the van in Colorado, I was out in the back country up in Buena Vista. And uh, I rolled into my camp spot at like 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. I settled into bed and all of a sudden I heard some noises outside the van. I like looked out the window and I couldn't see anything because it was pitch dark and I had like, I had just like a regular flashlight with me and I was like trying to shine it around outside and I couldn't see anything. It just, I, I tried to like think that it was nothing outside the van, but I was like way out in the middle of nowhere and settled back in bed and I still heard the noises outside. And finally I got, you know, freaked out enough that, uh, that I just packed up and left. Adding the lights on the outside of the van was a result of that. It was like, so I need to- that happens, you're gonna blast right, it with a Right, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah, I've got, the, I've got the light bar up front, I've got these down low, and then, uh, you know, my headlights are LED headlights as well, yeah, so. Yeah, this is cool, you got that as you come around, so these kind of different colors. So yeah, this is really interesting. It gives a whole very contemporary look to a very exactly. vintage van. Exactly, exactly. Um, so going around this side, um, probably, so you got an awning. Yep. Uh, so is this like a bat wing style where it kind of goes around that 
back and then on this, how, how does this work? Um, it's not a bat wing, it's just a regular, uh, just a pull out awning. It's an eight foot by eight foot awning, uh, like a zip up room um, that attaches to the awning. So it adds, you know, eight foot by eight foot outside the van, which is uh, pretty necessary, you know, in a small space yeah. like this. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, hello, my name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, channel all about the Class B camper van RV lifestyle. Here we give you van tours, we give you places to take your van, and we give you van RV tips to be a better RVer. Please subscribe to the channel if that kind of content is of interest to you. Comment below and give it a thumb up if you learned anything from this video. Thank you. Are you itching to get inside? Um, would you like to give us a tour? Definitely, for sure. <laughs> so first thing we kind of want to notice uh, right away is uh, this is like a slide up table or something. What's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this this interior is actually, a, this is a complete custom build that I did. Um, so I went back and I looked at what I knew, which was the Westphalia stuff. I looked at all generations of Volkswagen bus up until the current Westphalias that are still sold in Europe picked out things that I liked about each generation and I kind of incorporated that into the design of the van. So I did a lot of uh, prototyping um, with cardboard boxes, just setting them inside of here, moving around the space. I built a 3D model of the van, built the interior inside of that 3D space. Um, Right here, we've got the bench seat in the back. Uh, it folds down into uh, basically like a double uh, sized bed so you can comfortably sleep uh, two adults down here and my dog. Uh, she likes to sleep down here. And then up top, uh, this is all storage right now. This can be used as a bed. There's a platform that goes in here with a mattress on it and it extends, yeah, it extends out like- So this is the upstairs. Right, exactly. <laughs> you would think that it would be pretty claustrophobic to sleep up there and it really isn't. Especially since I've added the windows, you know, it makes it feel a yeah. little bit more spacious. So it looks like we have a table here, is that? So, yep, that's, uh, this here, this is my table, just pulls out like that. If it's just one person in here, we're on an angle, so it's not gonna stay. Or if you have two people oh, yeah, with cool. you, then you've got uh, your full-sized your full size table so there. Great. Packs away, out of the way, you know, when you're in here. And it's, it's really handy for, um, you know, when it's dinner time. And then down here is a little bit of storage for- dishes. Down here, yep, I've got storage in there. And then over here, I don't have a handle or a, 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 a knob on this yet, oh, yeah. but I've got more storage yeah, that's quite a bit. down there. Tried to use the space as efficiently as possible in here. And everything kind of has a dual purpose. It has to in the van. Exactly. Especially one this small. Yeah. You know. So um, how long is your van? So total length, I believe, is 15 feet. Well, obviously, I'm inside. I'm standing <laughs> up. And it really feels pretty roomy. Yeah. It I mean, definitely if you're does. Sitting down here, it might feel a little, it might feel a little different, but um, well, you yeah, know, there's, kinda... a, there's definitely still enough Oops. space for two people to hang out here but on the bench. You're like this, you're you don't have the sense of you know claustrophobia is a word mm -hmm. I use, but it's not um, so cool. Um, I just love your mood lighting; it's so great. Thanks, right? thanks. Yeah, it's you know I wanted to have fun with it and stuff when you're. Uh, it's so when cool. you're out camping. So and... tell us about the galley. So clearly a sink here. This folds down. Mm -hmm. So maybe tell us um, how many gallons of fresh water. Everybody loves you know fresh and great. <laughs> um, so underneath the van, I have a 12 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, I don't have a gray water tank. Uh, I just let it uh, dump out the bottom of the van, or when uh, when required, I'll put a bucket underneath the drain and then dispose of it correctly. Um, but otherwise, otherwise, I just use eco-friendly soap. And storage down here? Yep. Oh, so. We got storage down here. Yep. This is just all my like kitchenware wow. and stuff like it's that. It kind of rolls around itself. That's cool. Yep. I yeah. Tell, yeah. It's really a, uh, this is called a timbre door. So this allows me to have a super big opening in this cabinet, but without, you know, having to waste space on yeah, a door swing. Around it, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So it makes it really easy, you know, for, uh, to get stuff out of there, to load stuff in, this and that. Even like this space here, oh, yeah. right? This oh, un golly. typically unused space here keeps like the remote for the lights, you know, yeah. my, my knife, uh, and like my toothbrush and stuff like that. So, awesome. so even that space that you typically see unused has actually been used. This drawer here Whoa. actually pulls entirely out. So um, 
you're not digging around inside of a inside of a cabinet trying to find your food um, and this and that. You know, I I decided to pull my food out of the cabinet itself right, uh, with so the drawer. Um, so that huge that space. works out super nicely. And then up top here, this extends my countertop space, right? Because I've got yep. more countertop space there, there, and then underneath. This is all of my cutlery, it and doubles as a cutting board. Too. And it doubles as a cutting That's board. Really so this is a this is a truck fridge TF forty nine. Uh, it's a forty nine. Uh, I believe it's cubic inch uh, refrigerator, twelve volt fridge. Um, it's got a freezer in it too, which is nice. It's super efficient. It works well for my needs. And that fridge placement is kind of the rage these days, which is you have a you know even a Travato Solus mm -hmm. has the fridge. You know, in this position, so you yep. can access it from the inside and from the outside. So exactly. This kind of a, so you guys were early pioneers with this. It looks exactly. Like, it was amazing. it was pretty key in my uh, design to have the fridge right outside the sliding door. You know, because when I go to the grocery store, I roll my cart up to the side of the van, I open up the fridge, and I just load it up. Uh, or if I'm camping, right, I can stand out here cooking at the stove, and then I've got all of my ingredients inside the fridge just right here at the Under same time. I really wanted to kind of blur the line between van space and outside space. What's your electrical system like? It got solar, lithium, yeah, uh, hamster wheel. Um, yeah, <laughs> hamster wheel. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, on the roof of the van, I've got one 100 watt uh, flexible solar panel, and then I have one uh, solid uh, solar panel that's an 80 watt that's in the in the back. Um, so a total 180 watts of solar on the roof. I have a 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium uh, battery actually right in this corner back here, kind of hidden. And then my entire electrical system is hidden underneath this storage space down here. So there's a, there's a false floor in here and all of my wiring, my fuse block and everything is all underneath there. I've got a, uh, a DC to DC charger as well uh, that charges when the van is running. And then I also have a NOCO Genius 10 uh, that charges the battery uh, if I'm plugged in to shore power. So I've got three modes of charging, solar, off the engine, and uh, when I'm plugged in somewhere. I haven't had the need to plug in with it yet. It'll, you know, if I go an entire, uh, I can go an entire weekend with pretty high consumption, fridge, the Wobasto heater, using, you know, the phone chargers, the lights inside the van, um, I can go for about three to four days before my battery even hits 50%. It's all monitored via this uh, panel here, or, or this display here. So um, this is a, it's a Cymarine Pico uh, system. So this is, this controls, or this monitors basically uh, all the systems in the van. This is just the general overview, tells you your date and time, how much uh, battery life you've got left. I've got 12 hours of battery basically just sitting here in the shade, right? It also has a temperature sensor for what the temperature inside the van is right now, so 81 degrees. And then it also monitors um, my water tank, uh, which is you know, super nice. Um, and then this is this this measures uh, how much consumption I have at the moment, what my current battery voltage, and how long until my battery goes completely flat. Where do you use the restroom? How do you treat that? Right. So it's actually it's hidden in here. Um, so you have to lift up the seat, um, and then just set it like that. And then down oh, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. down here is my toilet. 
I've got the toilet paper roll <laughs> conveniently so awesome. located right there. So, yeah, this is just a Thetford. Uh, I believe it's a one one thirty five. Uh, so, so probably not primary, but maybe secondary if there's an emergency or something. Both. I mean, whatever, you know. Ryan, how do you have a blog or Instagram? Are you doing any of that stuff? So yeah. If people want to find and follow you, how do they do that? Yeah, you can find me at Van Design Co. on Instagram. Uh, Van and Design Co. Yeah, okay. Van is spelled with two A's. So it's V A A N Design Co. on Instagram. Okay. So. so a delight to have you share your cool space with us. And uh, comment below. Give Ryan a, a thumb up uh, if you got anything out of this. Uh, maybe it's not for you, but I just love to see how other people are doing vans. Because the van, to me, is really a tool to the adventure. If you're thinking about doing van life, just just go do it. It can be as simple as throwing a sleeping bag in the back of your Subaru or your Prius or whatever. Just go do car camping if, if that's what you have. Uh, you know, maybe maybe go to any one of these rental companies and rent a van for a weekend and take a trip and just just see how you like it because mm -hmm. you never know. I've heard stories of people who buy a hundred fifty thousand dollar van and then find out that it's it's not for them. The greatest part of uh, van life for me was just uh, getting able to go out there and kind of see the world uh, not not through a filter. Right. You're kind of uh, forced to see the world for what it really is when you're kind of living half in this tiny space and half just on the street. You can always go back to living in an apartment and doing a commute and all the other stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, hey, it was just really great. Uh, great meeting you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you again for for everything and sharing your your, your man and your story and uh, a comment below and, and subscribe to the channel if you like <clears> this kind of content. Check hit him up on uh on the Insta. Yep. And uh, Van Design Co. Two A's. Van Design Co. Two A's. We'll link his stuff down below in the show notes <laughs> so you can get that too. Yeah. But uh, so until we see you soon, wish you to journey on. <laughs>